Many of us use various pieces of software like Bag of Pie or GeoScatter to scatter vegetation in our blender scenes. And I want to show you how you can uh, do something like that uh, in Substance Painter. And the example I'm going to be using is painting leaves on a, uh, on a texture. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the floor that I created in Substance Designer for the um, Uncharted hallway scene. So I'm going to bring that in and I'm going to drop that in here. And I'm just going to make a couple of changes here. And maybe I'll make that too. And that's going to be the surface that I want to uh, scatter some leaves on. Now normally you would have, you know, your other parts of the scene in there and then you could figure out where you want the leaves like near a window or a door or whatever. I find that this works best for relatively flat items um, and not necessarily rocks, but you could do twigs, you could do pieces of paper, uh, leaves, that kind of thing. So I'll show, I'll show you an example with leaves and you could apply that to other things. All right, so we need an image of leaves. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the import, add resources and come over here and these are some photographs that I took of leaves uh, so it starts off like this and then I trim it so I get something like that I have uh, two versions of this one that's in color and one that I fill in white and these are both against a black background they're both JPEGs this one is going to go into the color channel and this is going to go into the alpha channel so what I can do is I can select both of them at the same time click open I've labeled this one alpha so I know I'm going to uh, assign it to be an alpha and this color one it's going to be a texture I'm just going to bring those into the current shelf so there they are now I want them on top of this so I'm going to create a paint layer go to the properties scroll down and I want color and height and maybe roughness as well because these are leaves I'm going to bring the roughness up to like maybe three quarters or so the height I'm going to bring all the way to one and in the base color, I want to drag this image into there. Now you can start to see it. I'm going to scroll up to where we have alpha. I'm going to drag this into there. And now I'm almost ready to go. I just want to change some properties of my brush, my leaf brush now. Size jitter, I'm going to bring that up to around halfway. I'll leave the flow angle maybe around halfway and position. And I also want to affect spacing. So I'll try that. Okay, I'll make them a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger. So I'm going to just start painting. So I'm painting on here. I'm dropping them down. I'm getting different sizes and different orientations. But we have a problem. The leaf looks good, but you can see the underlying texture through that. Most likely, that is the height or the normal kind of pushing through. So to solve that, I'm going to come back to my layers. This is my leaves layer. Okay, I'm gonna, with that selected, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna switch this to height. And right now it's on linear dodge. I'm gonna click that, scroll up to normal. And you can see that that's fixed it. If it didn't, you may have to come down to normal and change that to normal. And just go back to base color and you're able to go. Now to make them look a little bit better, I'm going to add a filter. And the filter I'm going to add is a drop shadow. I'll turn the opacity all the way up. Set the angle a little bit. You can sort of see it there. I'm going to start to bring the distance down. You can see where that is. I'm going to decrease the size and it'll get stronger. And then I'm just going to position this so it's kind of peeking out there. And you can decide if you want the opacity a little bit less. But now it looks relatively like leaves. I can also add another filter. And I'll choose this HSL. And now I can change the hue of my leaves. So just drag that up a little bit. Now we have green maple leaves go in various directions. I can change the lightness, or darkness, saturation. All right, so we have some maple leaves. Let's do another layer of leaves. Okay, so I'll create another paint layer. It should remember my settings of color, height, and roughness. 
but I need to change the base color and the alpha. So I will come to my import again, add resources. I'll use these two. So once again, this was this leaf. I cut it out as best I could, pasted it on a black background, saved it as a JPEG, and filled it with white. So I'll take those two. This one is the alpha. This one is a texture. Okay, in the base color, I'm going to put that one. And in the alpha, I'm going to put that one. I should have all this stuff here still. There, my leaves are coming on. But you'll notice we have that same problem. So come back to the layer, go to the height, change that to normal. And that's the one that we need. It might be normal, I'll also change. I can do the same kind of thing here. I can add, let's just make sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to come back to base color. And I'm going to uncheck normal on this. And that makes it look even better. So what I am using on this floor, uh, it was created in Substance Designer, or if I created it here, is I'm using height for that detail as opposed to normal. By turning off the normal and then coming over here and on this layer or this layer, on my leaves layer, by changing the height up to normal from Linear Dodge, uh, I can avoid any of those lines underneath, any of that texture underneath. All right, so to this one, I can do the same kind of thing. I'll add my drop shadow. All right, there it is, off to the side a bit, something like that. And if I decide I want to change the color, I don't know how realistic it will look, but we can try it. Um, that looks neat for a fantasy kind of a leaf. There we go. All right, so try that with leaves or with sticks and with other objects and see how you do. And the cool thing is you can just continue and, uh, and just add leaves, you know, as much as, much as you want. It's nice to vary them up with different, with different ones as well. Okay, so hope that helps. Take care. We'll see you later.